morning, let's review our UPSI model. And right now in our UPSI model, we're only concentrating on our understanding our plan. We're not doing solving, we're not evaluating either. Okay, so our first step in understanding our word problem is to read the problem, right? So we read, after you read the problem, you underline the question. Make sure that as you're reading the problem, you are picturing what is happening in the problem because it's like a story, okay? So read the problem, underline the question, and as you underline the question, make sure you reread the question. Then you're gonna circle your important information, circle the information you need. So I'm gonna put circle information. Should have just put circle info. And then after we circle the information that we have, we're gonna throw out or cross out, we're gonna throw out extra information. Okay, so we're gonna throw out extra information, extra info. So in other words, we're going to trash it, okay? So you're gonna trash it. All right, so that's our understand. After we do our understand, we do our planning, okay? And in our planning, we have our O, which is our operation. And there is where we need to decide, okay, am I adding, am I subtracting, am I multiplying, or am I dividing? In my M, that is our method. In our method, we are saying what we are going to do in words. Then we have our N, this is new, something we're adding. And N is our number sentence. So we're just gonna write it in numbers, okay? So you're gonna write a number sentence. And then your P is your process. Am I going to find the sum? Am I going to find the difference? Am I finding the product or the quotient? That is our process, okay? All right, so now we can get started with our word problems. Okay, so we are going to continue working with our understand and plan of our UPSI model. And if you all remember, our UPSI model has four parts, but again, we're only looking at our understand and our plan. We are not doing solving or evaluating right now. So our understand, our first step is to read our word problem. A clothing store had its annual clearance sale. All types of shirts were on sale for $12 each. The store sold 144 dress shirts and 96 casual shirts, which equation can be used to find the number of shirts the store sold. So we read it. Our second step is to underline the question. So as you underline the question, make sure you read it again. Which equation can be used to find the number of shirts the store sold? So my question is asking me to find the number of shirts sold. So we wanna find out how many shirts were sold. Let's look at our information. The shirts were on sale for $12 each. So is this gonna help me solve for the number of shirts that I sold? No, because it's just telling me how much they cost. So I'm gonna, that's trash, I'm gonna cross it out. The store sold 144 dress shirts. So are these shirts? Yes, did they sell them? Yes, so I need that information. 96 casual shirts, are those shirts? Yes, they are, so I need that information as well. So what do I have to do with these two numbers? Am I combining them or am I separating them? Right now we are combining because we do not have a total. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my strip diagram. And we are solving for N, the number of shirts. So I can do 144 sh uh, dress shirts, 96 casual shirts, okay? So my operation, the O is for operation. Am I adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing? Well, I'm not, I don't have a whole, so I'm not dividing, so this one's out. I don't have a whole and I'm not comparing, so subtraction is out. Am I, so my two options are addition or multiplication, but all I have is two parts. I don't have any repeating numbers. I don't have any groups of, so I know I'm not multiplying. 
I am adding my method, which you say it in words, is that you are going to add 144 plus 96. That's our method. Our number sentence would just be 144 plus 96. And then our process. We are finding the sum. And that's all we need to know. So if I look at my answer choices, we already said we know we're not subtracting, we're not multiplying, we're not multiplying. My answer is C. And here it is on my number sentence, 144 plus 96. Go ahead and work on 9B using the understand and plan.